header. In this video we are going to be taking a look at some quite interesting speakers in my opinion. And what's so interesting about them? Where's the magnet? Yep, it's on the inside. Now in uh, more modern times you might see this kind of uh, construction mostly in uh, some shallow mount subwoofers. But back in the day it seems uh, they also sometimes had uh, size problems or clearance problems. So they decided to move the magnet somewhere where it doesn't uh, make the speaker bigger. Quite interesting, I really like these things. Uh, this particular variant are from Tesla in uh, Czechoslovakia. ARZ572 model uh, and they have 4 ohms impedance and watts I don't know but I'm guessing maybe 3 watts or something like that. I don't expect them to have more than that. Identical obviously. Uh, it seems this frame is uh, aluminium. Or at least that's what I think it is from the way it feels in the hand. But this seems to be steel. So that's way weird. Dual metal construction as you can see riveted in place. And honestly this top part kind of its whole point in life is to protect the, the back of the cone itself. As you can see or maybe you can't. Let me try and uh, give you some light in here, maybe that helps. Focus. The cone itself is not actually touching anything in there. So it's, it's in the air. So this is only a protection, actually riveted with four rivets in place and the support for this connection. But if you take it off, you would remain with a a bare cone and everything would be on this side which would actually be cool but I don't see a real reason to do that. Uh, the construction is exactly the same only that the uh, voice coil is on this side of the cone and the magnet is here but the way it works exactly as a normal speaker uh, would work. So at this point yeah, let's, let's see how they sound. After that, try to do a, a quick frequency response test in amateur level condition conditions. And then even a bit of excursion, but not really sure what kind of excursion we can see. And obviously I'm not pushing these speakers. I don't want to damage them. And what I can see now, they actually have the edge treated. So that makes it um, a bit more resilient uh, over time and a bit softer probably. So let's give these things a play. And yeah, I forgot to tell you the diameter. It's 16.5 centimeters and the height about 5 centimeters with the felt. So they are quite slim. I was getting ready to play uh, audio through these uh, speakers. So I was arranging these uh, uh, wires and I noticed something. They are the softest wires that I've ever seen on any speaker and they are not brittle. So this is, I'm not sure what alloy they use, but this is how they are made. They are really, 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 really soft. So that's quite cool. And uh, sadly, another thing, uh, as you can see, all four of them were uh, fallen out of place, but uh, those are back in and I need to put this one back in. If I could actually lift it. Let's see if this will help me. They use this quite cool construction. They have this uh, rubber plug that actually goes uh, into this slot right here. So that's quite simple in the end to put back in place. 
and I will probably do it off camera because it will take a bit of time but I'm missing one of them so I need to find some rubber to cut one of these things and put it in that hole or some kind of foam if I don't find rubber so let me get to that in my pile of random rubber and plastic stuff I found this little wheel from I don't know some tape player from back in the day I'm going to remove the middle plastic in there and when I squeeze it I think it will uh, work for what we need in here so let me get to it okay so I started to play some music through them uh, just want to add that if you want to see some speakers with a similar design I have some oval ones that will be linked in the description of this video uh, these things are highly efficient uh, again this is the second pair of speakers that I test where I can hear uh, the background noise or hiss from my amp with other speakers you cannot hear it so there's that let me play a bit of music that's not period uh, accurate for these things but yeah these things sound good that uh, uh, crackling or something like that in the highs that's from the song that's yeah it's not uh, the speaker's fault so uh, let's try something else what do I think I don't think it's the right song this is the right one Yeah, so this thing sounds awesome, honestly. For its size, it has a quite deep bass, surprisingly, actually. Uh, phew, nice, really good speakers. So let's uh, give them a frequency test and see how they uh, respond to that. And for that, I will use an app from my phone. You can see it in... Uh, all my other speaker related videos it's audio tool and as you can see it can give uh, give us a graph of the frequency response and i will do this obviously while shutting up and uh, generating a logarithmic sweep tone from 30 to 20000 hertz focus ah, it's not focusing today at all anyway so let me do this and get back to you with the result Okay, this is the graph starting at about 125 hertz 
and up until about 8 kilohertz this thing is quite flat don't mind the jaggedness that is just because of my testing conditions you can take somehow um, uh, a median a middle of the jaggedness as a real uh, line for the graph but honestly from the speakers that I've tested up until now not many of them are able to have such a, a flat graph in free air and uh, such a good reproduction and it goes quite fast uh, it rises quite fast in lower frequencies also and uh, yeah it's this graph it's the sign of a, a good speaker to to say it in a, a simple way so let's continue with the video So I must honestly say these speakers are awesome and they might have a bit more than 3 watts or at least maybe they can handle more than 3 watts from the way I see them responding. Maybe they are a bit overbuilt but uh, yeah they are awesome if you can get your hands on uh, this type of speakers do it in my opinion. Sound good good build quality i had a lot of old speakers that were off center or rattling or whatever that i needed to fix these ones are really old still uh, in really good working order so uh, yeah there's that uh, i will try to put a link in the video description with uh, the specifications of this particular model if i can find one in case you are interested but yeah i like them I like them a lot. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Check out my other speaker related videos if you are interesting, uh, interested in this kind of stuff. And yeah, as always, see you in the next one. Bye.